Hey everyone, this is The Noble Artist here. Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my basic clone, well, dropped it, my clone rifle. Uh, this could be the DC-17 um, version um, of this rifle. So, if you guys like, <clears throat> I've used this for a lot of my clones and I know a lot of people have used it. I made a video in the past um, on my old channel um, and I am uh, going to do another one. I keep saying I was going to do one eventually and I'm actually trying to put together a list of all the tutorials so I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video but I'll be showing you guys how to make this gun. Um, I really like this gun, it's really awesome and it looks really cool for your clones and it's very simple to make. So what you're going to do is grab the, um, I guess the smaller clone rifle that you get. Unfortunately they don't really sell these anymore. Um, they kind of wanted it to be more playable so they gave them like the flick fire guns. Um, I mean they're cool and all but I prefer these, so get your gun, and what you're going to need is a, if you have a toothpick, I use toothpicks for a lot of my stuff, you're going to cut a little piece about this big, because this is going to be the scope, you're going to replace the scope that you already have. Um, this is actually, a, it's not a credit card, it's kind of that material, like that plastic card material, um, a little sliver of that, right there, you can see how it's very thin, um, you'll need a little piece of that, and then for the metal that I use, this is the metal. Um, you will need a piece. If you have a hole punch, that's what I use for this cylinder. You're going to need one of these. So, you will also need them. Um, these are the three pieces you need. And then a gun. The tools you'll need, some kind of pliers. Or these aren't really pliers. This is, um, <clears throat> uh, not really sure what these are called. I forgot the name. But you need something to be able to cut into the plastic. Um, so, if you have a sharp object like a knife i'm not sure if that would work I, I prefer something like this just be careful if you need your parents or someone um, to help you with this please do so what you're going to do first is cut off the scope so you're going to cut it off from the very base like so these can be used for a lot of different things like if you're making your own jetpack those work really well for the thrusters at the end of the jetpack so your scope is cut off and then now you're going to cut the back off but you're going to do it at an angle so, if I can do this on camera, I'm going to move around. Try to get it at a nice slanted angle like that. And then cut. Now this kind of varies on how what angle you're at and how you cut it. You might not like that look, but um, it gives it this nice slanted angle. And then I uh, take sandpaper just to smooth that out. I use sandpaper on that and then or if you have a rat's tail I know it sounds funny but it's like a fi little file um, these work really well if you want to get like the bigger pieces off and of course you can sand the top if if need be just where you cut off the scope so once you have that cut off <clears throat> first you would take some glue I get this glue at the dollar store it is tricky to use at first because it's in a tube and not a uh, protective case. So if you squeeze this very light pressure, um, it will just shoot out. So you gotta be careful, it is harder to use, um, but you do get a lot of it for the price. It's like a dollar for two of these and this is gonna last me a long time. So what you're gonna do, you also need tweezer beads if you have them. Grab your scope, like so, grab either side of it. Put a little bead of glue that's a lot of glue, but put some glue in the middle. And you're going to grab your gun, like so. Place that right over top of where it might fall off. Put that right over top where the old one used to be. Push that where you want it. Make sure it's lined up. You can look down the barrel. You can adjust it a little bit. Um, and there's a good amount of glue on there, but it will take a minute or for that to dry. Um, but it's not going to go anywhere. It's, it's on there. So once it dries, you can put a little bit more if you want to be extra careful. Now you're going to grab your cylinder that you cut out for your hole punch. Now if you don't have metal, you can use something else. You can maybe use construction paper or something a little bit thicker, but you're going to cut this piece directly in half. So I'm holding this in half, cut it. You're going to get two of the same pieces. I only need one. Now if this piece, <clears throat> I normally use a paintbrush, but I'm going to just fold that in half, 
okay? Get rid of that. So now this piece has got a nice fold to it. Um, what you're going to do now is there's a flat side and then there's a side that has this curve to it. You're going to put the flat side at the end of your gun. So it's going to go on like this at the very end. So I'm going to need to put some glue on this. This might be a little hard to get on camera, but I will, I will try. Where's my glue? Okay. So you can put glue. Oh, I dropped it. No. It's, oh, that's the problem with having carpet, guys. Aha! I found it! Can't hide. Okay. So. Oh, it's such a small piece. So you can put a little bit of glue on this piece. Like so. You probably can't see the glue, but there's glue there. I'll scoot over. Okay. So now you're going to take this and put it underneath the gun. This piece you kind of have to move a little bit quicker because it's going to, the glue will dry on you. So you're just going to push that up underneath the gun like so. You can, if you want, you can trim the corners of this piece. Um, you can trim off the top um, of that piece of metal. But you're going to just put the rounded part, um, try to get this to focus a little bit better. I want to go from this angle. This I got a lot of stuff behind my camera, sorry. So, um, what you can do is, this part right here that runs along the bottom of the gun, you want this, when it folds over, to come to the end of the gun. And then fold it around. Like so. So, like I said, the flat side is going to be at the end of the barrel. And then, you just push that down. You can also put more glue on this once you get it on there, if you feel like it's not secure. But, it doesn't really come in contact with anything, so... You don't really have to worry about it um, coming off. So now you're going to take your third piece. This is going to be the clip of the gun. And this one is a lot easier to, to apply because when you glue plastic to plastic, it glues really fast. So let's just put a little bleed, bleed put a bead of glue um, on it like so. I'm sorry that's white, it kind of blends in with the background, but um, that's what it is. So. You're going to set that right there. Now I put a lot of glue on there so it might not dry right away. See how it just fell down like that. You put a lot of glue, it's just, it takes a little bit longer to dry. Um, the good news is once this piece is in here, it is in there. Because like, it's a little crevice, um, it stays in there fairly well. Um, and once this dries, if you didn't cut your piece out the right length the first time, because this is pretty long um, for a clip. Once this dries in there, you got to make sure you get it straight. That's why I put too much glue, so it's kind of giving me some trouble. But once this dries, you can trim it any way you want. You can cut it down to size, which is really nice. So it's just as simple as that, guys. Cutting off the scope, putting this piece on the end, trimming the back, and adding a clip. And then all you got to do is paint it, and then you have this awesome clone rifle for your clones. Looks really good. You can change up the colors if you want. You can add some stuff to it. But I think it's a nice technique. It's a good gun. I like the style. Um, so that's how you make it. If you need help with this tutorial, if you I need some questions answered, um, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you if I can. Um, this actually is one of my ARF Troopers that I just finished making and he will be on eBay. I'll put a link down in the description. So if you can go check that out, he's going to be there. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you liked it, hit hi, cat. Um, don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what more tutorials you want to see. I have a... Whoop, go over here to my wall. I have an extra board right there that I'm going to use for um, my tutorials so I can keep a list of all the ones that I'm going to do. And I will start... I will do, like, the flamethrower and stuff like that for my fire squad. A lot of people want to see... Uh, but leave me a comment, let me know what tutorials you want, and I will put them on the list, and I will get to them um, on those Tuesdays. So, you guys have an awesome day, God bless, and I will see you later in my next video. Bye!